Hi guys, hope everybody is safe and well. In this second video for the review of the final performance exam, um, again, this would be the second of your five choices. You are to play four examples for me. Think of each example as 25% of the test. Um, in this example, I'm going to play the five pieces that I listed under one note reading piece. So in this case, you're not strumming chords, you're playing a melody. You don't have to say the letter names while you play. You do not have to count while you play uh, out loud like I made you do on the first performance test. Um, the first one I'm going to play will be green sleeves um, in 3-4 time. Uh, we'll try to get in a position here where you can see both my hands. And um, this is on page 23 in the Hal Leonard book. One, two. That was Green Sleeves on page 23. The next example is Shenandoah on page 27. All in the Hal Leonard book. There's a sharp at the beginning of this piece, which is F sharp. All the sharps should be played uh, when you hit an F. In other words, it should be sharped. This is in the key of G. So make sure you play the two F sharps that are in this piece. Uh, this is in 4-4 time in the key of G, and there is one beat pickup here. One, two, three. A lot of ties in that piece, so make sure you're giving the long notes their full value. The Star Spangled Banner is the next example on page 32. There are a few F sharps written in here, so make sure you play the F sharps that are written in. This is Star Spangled Banner. It has a pickup on the third beat of two eighth notes. One, two, three.
And again, be careful there to give all of the half notes their full value and all of the eighth notes their value of a one half a beat. Um, that one leaps around a little bit more, but I'm sure uh, with a little work any of you can handle it. The fourth example is a duet, Simple Gifts. You are only to play guitar one, the top line, which is on page 38 and 39. Make sure you play all of the top line on both pages. And this one is also in the key of G. All the Fs are sharped. And you have to be a little bit careful here because there's some scale runs in eighth notes that you want to be nice and even. And I will try and demonstrate that right now. One, two, three. Okay, again, using a metronome will help uh, keep all of those eighth notes even in that piece. Um, the last piece is the Minuet in G by Bach on pages 42 and 43, probably the most difficult of the five examples that you could choose. Again, I believe anybody in the class uh, could handle this with a little practice, the single notes. Um, you choose one of the five pieces, I don't choose it for you, so you prepare the one you want and send me that video. Uh, this is a duet again, where there are two staffs stuck together here, just like Simple Gifts. In this case, uh, you play all of the top line of page 42 and all of the top line of page 43, and you do not have to play the repeats here. If you just play through it one time for me, that would be fine. Minuet in G by Bach. And again, no repeats there, just play the top line all the way through. Uh, so pick your piece. I think everybody can choose one of these pieces and play it well. Um, there are all five examples, and again, they're listed on your review sheet with the page numbers if you are not sure. Uh, you can always email me and check this channel again to watch these videos uh, for the performance test. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.